Hey, hey, it's Bree from Scholastophere. Today, we're going to discuss how to solve math problems using order of operations. So before we start, write down the acronym P-E-M-D-A-S, or for better recognition, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, this is going to come in help for when we're doing these problems. So the P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So we have example number one here, 50 minus 2 squared times 6. So when we approach these problems, you want to read the problem from left to right. And we're going to go through and see what we have, what operations we have first. So we have subtraction, we have um, an exponent, and then we have multiplication. So according to our acronym, the first uh, order of operation or the first operation that we're going to use in order to solve this problem would be exponents. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, so that's going to be a 4. We're going to bring down the 50 and the 6. So the problem should be rewritten as 50 minus 4 times 6. Now... We're going to look and see, okay, what operations did we have left? We have a subtraction and we have multiplication. So looking back at our acronym, we have um, the multiplication will come first and the subtraction will be last. So we have 4 times 6, which gives us 24. We're going to bring down the 50 and bring down the subtraction sign. So 50 minus 24 gives us 26. So we have the square root of 625 minus 2 times 6 plus 7 squared. And this case is a little bit special and different from the previous problem because we have a root. Um, so we're going to take the root uh, or the root and the exponent are done first. So the square root of 625 is 25. Um, 25 times 25 gives you 625. And then the uh, 7 squared or 7 times 7 is 49. So we're going to bring down the 25. The root sign goes away. We're going to bring down minus 2 times 6 plus 49. Now uh, looking at our um, new rewritten uh, problem, we have to look and see, okay, what operations do we have and which one now can we take care of? So we have a subtraction, we have multiplication, and we have addition. So in this case, we're going to take care of the uh, multiplication because that one comes first. So a negative 2 times positive 6 gives us a negative 12. We're going to bring down the 49, the positive 49, and the positive 25. Now that uh, the new sentence should state 25 minus 12 plus 49, we have to look and see uh, what operations are left and which one takes priority in order to solve the problem. So we have a negative or a subtraction sign and we have a addition sign. So according to our acronym, uh, the addition sign comes before the subtraction sign. So we're going to take care of that negative 12 plus a positive 49, which is going to give us a positive 37. We're going to bring down a positive 25. Um, the final sentence of this math problem should state 25 plus 37, and your final answer should be 62. And one last problem for today's uh, topic is uh, 6 parentheses, 14 minus 3, close the parentheses, plus 8. Now, this one is um, a little bit easier than the previous problem. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to have our acronym, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, written somewhere on the page as a reminder. And we want to look at the problem and see what we have. So we have a parentheses, we have a subtraction sign, and we have an addition sign. So according to our acronym, parentheses um, operation is done first. And it's not what's around the parentheses, but more so what's inside it. So we're looking at the 14 minus 3, which is going to give us an 11. So uh, rewriting the sentence, it should say 6 parentheses 11, close the parentheses, plus 8. Now we're going to look at the new rewritten sentence of this math problem and look and see, okay, what are the new operations and which one takes priority? So we have a... Uh, 
a dis distribution of the six or a multiplication, and then we have an addition sign. So according to our acronym, uh, the multiplication comes before addition. So we're going to multiply that six or distribute that six times 11. That gives us a 66. We're going to bring down a positive eight. The new sentence should say 66 plus eight, and that is equal to 74. That concludes today's explanation and lesson on order of operations. Looking for a one-on-one -on -one help? Well, visit us at scholastifear.com where personal tutoring is provided. The link is in the description box. I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. And if so, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. Till next time, bye for now.